partners, welcome to the Haunted Chronicles episode 122. Buckle my shoe. Thank you <laughs> to last week's guest, Andrea Message. If you missed it, that episode is available in the on demand section of paramaniaradio.com. Tonight's show is about absolutely nothing. It's a secret show, but some people showed up. No guest, no topic, and we'll, we'll still have a rollicking good time. <laughs> I am Mr. Haunted, along with your hosts, Jennifer Jigglypuff Runyon and Brock <laughs> Butterfree Burrows. Butter. How are you guys? That's a Pokemon. So, nice. bubbly, wait, bubbly pop? Jigglypuff. Oh, oh, I'm Jigglypuff and, and buttery. Butterfree. Butter, butterfree. Wow. <laughs> that's such a Pokemon music, isn't it? Yeah. That's got to be, that's got to be Pokemon hunting music. My kids get mad because I say Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. Pokey, pokey men. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're still we're that generation we had we had Pac-Man. Yeah, I Pac-Man. saw I yeah, it, it's funny because I saw a post. Actually, I think it was Vicky in the uh, Vicky Johns in the chat room posted it tagged Dave and I in it. Um it had it had a bad word in it, so I can't say it all, but it's like I'm too old, I'm still looking for Waldo. <laughs> No, I loved Waldo. Where I, you liked him? I hated that little bastard. Oh, I did. Sorry, I had because I was intense with that. I had to find him. I was. That's my OCD. I had to find him. Well, that's why he's a jerk. He's always hiding, like a little sassy, Mister Sassy Pants, <laughs> hiding amongst the other people at a mall. Yeah, or something. Yeah, anyway. it's kind of creepy if you think about it. A little creepy. It's very creepy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still can't get over oh. Jimmy just a few minutes ago. <laughs> well, uh, this is a se- it's a secret show. Nobody knows. It's a secret. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Quiet. I got I got to tell you guys about my um, Rhode Island trip a little bit. Yes. All right. Tell. I I'm I'm I'm, pl- I'm playing the the game, you know, with the kids. Of course, it's for journalistic purposes. The Pokemon thing. Yes. And I had to hatch eggs. And <laughs> for one, I... <laughs> I haven't hatched any yet, but go ahead. I had to walk uh, five kilometers for two days in a row. I don't know yeah. what a kilometer is. I'm too lazy to look it up. And, yeah. But it's long. It's really long. <laughs> it's a little bit more than a mile. And oh. my feet and legs hurt so bad. Holy mackerel. It's like I'm even walking with a little gimp. I'm gimpy. <laughs> so, so hold on. Let me interrupt you. Dave says five kilometers is equal to fifteen miles. Get out of here! No, it's not. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> if it was, it, it wait a minute. He's like, wrong. He's wrong. Wait, oh, he was wrong. Okay, he's wrong. <laughs> wrong. Three, three miles. miles. That's still Ooh. really far for me. Who, you know? Okay, that's a lot. Okay, I'm sorry. My eggs would be decaying. Because yeah. with my with my hip and my knee, there's no way I could do it. So oh, those poor I, eggs! I walked all this way because I wake up earlier than everyone else, and I, I just kept. There's this little green um, between our, our hotel and the ocean, so I just kept walking in a circle around it, you know, playing. And um, I, I walked, like I said, five kilometers, and I and <laughs> then it hatches, and it's a wild weedle. I did all this work <laughs> for a wild weedle. What does oh, that mean? Uh, it's, it's just like a, a little character. Yeah, it's yeah. a real little thing. So he's not a good one. You don't want a wild weedle. Well, you can. And I, I've kind of played around with it a little bit. I don't get the whole game. I just don't get it. But you can evolve them too. So <laughs> you know, apparently, if you evolve them, you could turn them into bigger, better things. I don't know. I don't get it. I do not get it. It's I turn it on every now and then on campus. They're everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but, you know, around my house, there's like none. Um, so who knows? Oh, they're all over here. Wow. My daughter part- posted My yeah. daughter posted a picture the other day that said it, so she went to some establishment and on the window, taped to the window was, we do not have Pokemon here. Go away. 
<laughs> I thought it was funny. How do, how do they know where to put them? This is what I don't understand. I think it's randomly generated, the well, Pokemon. Now, the gems and stuff, I'm not sure. You know what? After, after we um, get to a certain part of the show and a beginning part, you know that part? Uh-huh. Oh, I, I have something to share with part. you. Okay. I, I, I'm going to share with you a story about some odd Pokemon stories. Oh, my gosh. I, okay. This All is right. awesome. All right. Yeah, that's after the part, before the part, after yeah. the one before we talk part. about but the other After one. the part that we usually do that we didn't do yet. That we need exactly. to do exactly, exactly. Because I don't know what part we're talking show. about. It's a secret show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh. Anyone? No, Any- I don't. I know. Shh, shh. <laughs> shh. What? No, I don't have any talking here. So if anybody's hearing, yeah, anything- no, I'm not. Oh, so Dave posted because they can't see that. Uh, they're oh. talking about oh, no. TV. No. I don't have anything. I don't think. That, wait a minute. Do you hear it now? Is it gone? I don't. I didn't hear it to begin with. He Anybody says gone. It? Okay. You know what? I apologize. That was my little TV. I thought I had it all the way on mute. It wasn't. Huh. Wow. That picked that up. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right, Jim. Well, hmm. So, Jim, Jim, Brock, isn't it, ask him. Isn't it funny how I, I think that people really care what I'm going to say? Like, <laughs> but we kind of do. Yes. Say? So, Jimmy. Okay, I'm dying. I'm going to do it. Yes. Uh, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, we are dying. How, how are you doing? Well, Dr. Dave, <laughs> I am happier and an Arctic skipper butterfly skimming along the fruited plains in Purple Mountain's majesty like she's Bella the frickin' ball or something. Nice. <laughs> nice. He, he, that even cracked him. He cracked himself up with that one. <laughs> I, I thought Bella the ball was my favorite. Like, nobody says that. Nobody says Bella, Bella the ball. That was, that was such a huge phrase at one, in one era, right? The let's Bella give, the ball. Let's give that a comeback. I think we need to. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Heavens to Murgatroyd is another one that I think <laughs> needs to come back. Anything yeah. heaven, Heavens to Betsy? Heavens to Betsy. Heavens <laughs> to Murgatroyd. Yeah. Definitely. You know what I do have for everyone in yeah. the chat room is wanting celebrity birthdays. And I almost forgot about them. I was going to jump into the, uh, the strange story thing. Okay. But I do have some celebrity birthdays for you guys. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Lind, what is that in the chat room? What? Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh it's a blue underside. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> Linda Carter. Oh. She was in A Prayer in the Dark, The Creature of the Sunny Side Up Trailer Park. That must be a crazy one. And she played Diana Prince, also known as Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. from 1975 to 1979. Mm. And how old is our Linda Carter now? Um, How about, I'm going to start, I'll say, how about I saw, 67. Hmm. 65. Correct! I'm going to stick with the 65, 70, 75. Yeah, you t- you've been doing oh, very oh, well. Five. Very well, well. I'll give you a hint, Brock. There's no more multiples of five. Oh. Dang. This week. This week. <laughs> um, Sandra Bullock. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lady. We love her. Magic. Oh, Jimmy dropped. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh okay. go ahead. You're back. Am I back? Did yeah. you hear yeah. the um, person? Sandra Bullock. Sandra, Sandra Bullock. Bullock. And then okay. we heard you say something, and then you kind of thought. And then you were that. gone. The then you premonition, gone. the vanishing, practical magic. Gravity. Right. Sandra Bullock. Okay. I'm going to say... <sighs> la, la, la. Um, 53. I think that's close. Because, see, I stalk her. So, no, I don't, actually. Um, (laughs) 
Uh, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say 53. Oh, so close. It'll be 52. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. Well. And uh, I wanted to post this. To, um, I posted my um, food art in the chat <laughs> now. Mm-hmm. I was playing with my food. And yeah, I, I like that. that. I think that thing's scary. It's like an unleash hell or something. Like these things were never put together before, and I just did it, and it's like the end of the world or something. Yeah. But I think it's creepy did, looking. I don't like it. Did, did you put bread? Did you add bread later? No, it was my leftovers from my hamburger <laughs> and fries, and um, I and I saw a creature in it, and I I, and I made it. I made it happen. Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. Kate Beckinsale was in Total Recall, Underworld, Van Helsing, and 1995's Haunted. Mm. Okay, I'm going to say 54. Uh, I think she's younger. Is she? We said, what did we say for, what was Sandra Bullock? 52. She was 52. 52. We said 53, yeah. Okay, let's... I don't think she's that old. Um, 40, you said there's no five, so 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. She'll be turning 43. She's really young. I thought she was. She's really young. She's just a kid. She's really young. She doesn't even know about life yet. She She's just a babe in the woods, man. No. That's she doesn't weird. know about life yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I tell the kids they got mad at me. I know. Isn't that the <laughs> best go to line? You don't know anything yet. <laughs> you just wait till you're my age. Uh oh. Heidi's yeah. in the chat. I'm going to get it in trouble later. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Miss Heidi. And. How about this fellow here, Mick Jagger, Mm. of the Rolling Stones, whose music can be heard in Bates Motel, Men in Black, The Devil's Advocate, and Christine, among others. Mick Jagger has a birthday on July 26th. I think he's 79. Uh, Shoot, I have not... 78. I don't know. He's only 73. <gasps> oh. Well, we lost another one. <laughs> and that does it for Scary Movie Celebrity Birthdays. Yay! Yay! All right. Now, I have some news about Mick Jagger. Did mm. you guys hear that his 29 year old girlfriend is expecting a baby? And. Yes. He has seven children, ranging in ages from forty-five to seventeen. Oh wow! So I don't. I really didn't research this, but I, I did it quickly. In he he became a great grandfather in two thousand fourteen. Oh, so nice. when this baby is born, will it instantly be a grandmother, or that's what I try to figure out. I, I got too mixed up thinking about that. It's crazy. It'll no. It'll be their uncle. The little oh. one, the little one will be. Wait, okay. Wait. See, it's confusing. <laughs> I hate this kind of stuff. Okay, what will he be? Wait, what will he? What will the great grandchildren? What will this baby be to them? Right. Suppose little Johnny was born today. Their uncle. Their uncle They're or aunt. Great. They'd be their great. Wouldn't it be? Oh, that's uh, right. Wouldn't it be a grandfather? It'd be a great uncle. Great uncle. Yeah. Yeah, because it would be it aunt. would be his children's the one who's having the baby, the father or the wife, whichever one is his child. Right. It would be their brother or sister. That's, I don't understand. I don't. I'm ripping this. My I'm mind. Is and not- then no, that would be their um. Yeah. Oh wow. It'd be their uncle. It'll be their uncle. It would, it would be only be one step back. Yeah, I, I don't what know. Do you call Abdul? Huh? Would be an uncle or an aunt? <laughs> I said, what do you call Abdul? <laughs> See, that's funny because. All right. Cold hearted snake. 
<laughs> hmm. All right, this is what I wanted to um, share with you guys. We're talking about the Pokemon game. Yes. And I found this this page that um, there, there's a there's a man that started a, a website called Selfies at Funerals, right? Oh. Now this guy here. I hope hope this works. This guy started a new page, Pokemon at Funerals. It was totally inappropriate, but. I guess they, people um, at funerals started taking pictures. You know, the um, virtual little image pops up on your phone. Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah, there it is. <gasps> now, as you can see in this scene oh. here, their Squirtle is clearly sitting on top of the coffin. <laughs> Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. This one here says... Uh, today, oh my, it's, there's a whole web page for this. Um, <laughs> well, today, I witnessed a woman pull over in front of a graveyard while a funeral was going on so she could capture one. And that's a squirtle. At the, <laughs> it's, it's like the funniest name that could appear there. So <laughs> <laughs> Three what they put in the Skype. <laughs> no, I read it. <laughs> oh, it said, isn't that, isn't that the last thing you do after you die is squirrel? <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Or Aww. a jigglypuff. Aww. I'm not sure. Well, or jigglypuff. <laughs> jigglypuff. <laughs> All right. Now, here's oh, another. Man. This one's very sad. This one. This is you guys don't think we get creepy here? We're still getting creepy. Okay. Even on a secret show. Now look at these poor people mourning a loved one. Uh-huh. And there's Pidgey. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Oh. And that lady's like leaning. Oh, she's kneeling. Okay. And then this little Pidgey is just looking pissed off. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> so what happens if your pokeball goes into the coffin? <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh that God. would be amazing if he popped. You know, yeah. Oh my God! Candy just said, "At least it's not an open casket." With that first picture, that's that would be. <laughs> oh, that would be brutal. <laughs> oh, sassy oh. squirtle. Um, what else do I see in here? Um... So uh, bad. Like I said, if you guys look at it, it's called Pokemon at Funerals.tumblr.com. There's a whole website d- devoted to this. Um, Brooke something says, My brother is currently trying to catch Pokemons at a funeral we're at. Um, uh, uh, t- today, at my step grandpa's funeral dinner, my nieces and I decided to try this whole Pokemon shebang. Caught two. We are hooked. That's from Electra. On Twitter. Wow. So she admits it. Yeah. Wow. No shame. None. Oh. My oh my goodness. God. This is, I can't even pronounce this, fandom chem imbalance. So I caught a Pokemon at my friend's dad's funeral. I'm so sick in the head. And, you know, I could share this one here. Um, this little fella here. I don't know the name of this one, Brock. Maybe you'll know. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dave. Dr. Dave uh, posted that in the chat also, the the link to one of the sickest sites I've ever seen. (laughs) Oh, that that didn't work. Wow, they have a whole site? You guys can look it up at your leisure. Oh, I see them. Oh, my gosh. I'm on the site right now. Oh. Oh, here's... Sorry, I'm I'm looking as I... uh... Go. And also, people, remember, don't go to cemeteries at night, because usually it's um, illegal to go from dusk till dawn, and there's um, somebody got a um, a ticket for trespassing. Oh. Are you talking about that, that one that... Uh... No, no, sorry, go ahead. That probably won't work. Nah. Anyways, that's what I found. Wow. Yeah. I thought that was creepy. Yeah. Then yeah. I saw another thing. I, want to, I have a, a little quiz for us to do after break because it'll probably take more than a few minutes. Mm-hmm. But um, so another little article 
Did you guys when we did Urban Legends and and we did a couple Urban Legend shows, and um, I had this one on my list but didn't get to it, and I looked it up and you know I always like instead of looking through fifty websites to see if something's legit or not, you mm-hmm. know sometimes I go to Snopes and see what they say even though they're they're um, sometimes they're negative Nellies and ruined stories for me, but <laughs> yes. you know there is a Nebraska church. That exploded in 1950. No one was injured because every single member of the choir was coincidentally late in arriving for practice that evening. Ooh. Oh, so, wow. So the choir was supposed to practice before church, whatever. Uh-huh. And the thing exploded. And if everyone was on time, they would have died. And they said everyone was coincidentally late. And even the Snopes says, True. As unbelievable as a story, it, it, it did happen. Um, even though a Nebraska church exploded one evening in 1950, just five minutes after choir practice had been scheduled to begin, not one of the 15 people who should have been present was injured because none of them had arrived and the building collapsed. Well, wow. And somebody that's... tried to do the odds of it. And, uh, why did it explode? Yeah, them. yeah. Did it say why? Well, it exploded because. A squirtle? <laughs> it, was a big, it exploded. <laughs> it was an ex- clearly an explosion. It was it just it just combusted. It was there's no Yeah, my so, squirtle exploded. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow though. I can you imagine? Every single person was late. That's kind of strange. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And they even have some of the, the people like why they were late. Um, uh-huh. Ray- Raina Estes was ready, but her car wouldn't start. So she and her sister, uh, she asked her sister to pick them up. And one of the girls had a geometry problem, so she was late. And another person's car um, refused to start. And um, uh, somebody, somebody got an important letter. And he said he can't think why, but he lingered over the letter a long, longer than normal, and it made oh. him late. And one person said she didn't feel like going early. <laughs> uh, just little crazy reasons. One over so slept. Di- oh, divine intervention. Divine oh. intervention. And of course, Brock, I'm prepared with your answer. Firemen thought the explosion mm-hmm. had been caused by natural gas, which may have leaked into the church from a broken pipe outside. And been ignited by the fire in the furnace. So, the so it was good. Well, they have no particular theory uh, about the fire's cause. The um, the fire the, department, but each yeah. of them began to reflect on uh, inse- inconsequential details of his life, wondering exactly what point it is that one can say this is an act of God. <clears throat> yeah, true. Yeah, I, absolutely. Absolutely. I, my cousin yesterday posted this picture. She lives in Joliet, Illinois, and she showed pictures less than a mile from her house. A plane crashed. Um, and she had she she you know went to go see what happened. And there's wreckage everywhere. And I, I think if I'm not mistaken, the, the house had hit the woman who's usually home at that time was not home. I don't think the pilot made it, but it was one of those things where I can't believe Barbara wasn't in her house. She's always home at that hour. Divine intervention. Sometimes I think it's crazy how wow. things like this happen. Yeah. And we have, we have like a minute left before break. So I want to tell you our upcoming schedule quickly. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Next week. Tentatively called In Living Color. That's our topic. And then on August 5th, Willie Ames is flying into Haunted Chronicles Studios. Yay! Mm-hmm. On the 12th, mm-hmm. our friend Tony Falosi will join us. Awesome. He's in the chat right now. And it is time for a break. We'll see you in a few minutes, fellas.
soak. <laughs> Welcome back to the Haunted Chronicles secret show, home of your guaranteed halftime shout out. Um, these are all the people that made it to the secret show that are in the chat room. Brock, Dr. Dave, Indy Dwayne, Mad Max, Vicky Johns, Sprinkles, Tony, Candy, Mark, Debbie D, Yo Adrian, Victor and Linda are listening, Heidi G, Kara E, oh, um, Corey and Stacy, and who else wants us to say there? And um, <laughs> Maggie Renee, Little Heidi Haunted, Holly Haunted, Valerie Haunted, Debbie, and BN Hank, and. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, Ma. I know. I love that lady. I love and that th- lady. And then I do have some sad news. That I, oh. We've mentioned this show so many times. Okay. Gary Marshall oh. passed away July 19th. And he was a writer and producer known for Pretty Woman... Uh, Princess Diaries, and Happy Days, and he was 81 years old. And I have a weird wonder fact. I think that's what I wrote. He played the husband of his real-life sister, Penny Marshall, who was Laverne of Laverne and Shirley, in 1993's Hocus Pocus. Really? Yeah, so that's what it says. But if you... (laughs) I'm gonna next time I watch it, I'm gonna watch it a little differently. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and, uh, I don't know that. I never knew that. And yeah. um T A Helium and Mary just joined us also. Yay. That's a good full chat for a secret show. I love that. So I was gonna do Brock um what's his name? <laughs> uh butter butter Butterfree. Butter, Butterfree. No, something like that. <laughs> Brock Butterfree Burroughs is yeah. is running to get his Teddy Ruxpin. Um, he's going to see if he could find that. And I was going to start a um, – in honor of Gary Marshall, I was going to do a Happy Days quiz. Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure if he's uh, – He's, he's still, still looking. Run- was he getting Teddy or Fur- Furby? Which one was he Fur- doing? Furby. Was- yep. Furby. He's back. Furby. I, I put batteries in. It's yeah. not, like, working right now. Oh, he's sleeping so. then. Yeah, well, wake up, Furby. We, if you don't get him, we could um, put him on next week if you can't get to it. Gotcha. We should introduce him oh, to Siri, oh, too. Oh, b- before we get... <laughs> sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Before we get to um, the Happy Days trivia... Yes. How So many people were asking how Davy Crockett is. Yeah. That I, I told you that a wildlife expert came and rescued him, and I was going to go visit him. I didn't get a chance this week. I'm going to go see him either Sunday or next week. And she said he's he's doing great, but he's grouchy. <laughs> so he's still around. And I think he, I think he misses me. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why. Guess who's going to – we're going to talk to live in Haunted Chronicle Studios next week. Davey? We're going to talk to my friend about Davey Crockett. <gasps> Are we going to talk to the lady who rescued him? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Yes. And Better her late than is, never. Her name is Laura Brewerton, and uh-huh. she um, it's called Raccoon Crossing Rehabilitation. And yeah. um, we're going to get her a bunch of um, traffic to her page next oh, week. Oh, that's the awesome. Video. And then we can all kind of. You know, pick her brain on raccoons and and find out what they do. You know, how do you rehabilitate them? What do you do when you... Oh, I love it. This is going to be fun. So I think it's going to be fun because hopefully I can visit him before the show. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Maybe he'll go live. I don't know. (laughs) Right? Rock, while you were gone, um, we were going to do a little tribute to Gary Marshall, who passed away this week. And um, he uh, was the um, inventor of Happy Days, the TV show. And um, I've, I've got a few questions together. So play along in the chat and at home. Okay. How many children did Howard and Marion Cunningham have in the first season of Happy Days? Okay, who's going first? You want to go first, Brock? N- no, because I have no clue. Okay, three. Uh, three is sounds good. 
<laughs> I, I, was supposed to, I was supposed to prompt Dr. Dave with the Happy Days sound effect. Well, oh, okay. I think he was the writer of Happy Days. That's Happy Days. Sunday, yeah. Monday, Happy Days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Happy Days. Thursday, Friday, Happy Days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums, ready to race to you. Don't you feel better now? I know I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I watch it every night. How every night on MeTV. But, you know what? I could picture the um, the sequence, the introductory sequence, while yeah. that song's on. Yeah. Right? That's weird. Remember the part when Ralph goes to kiss the girl and they fall out of the car? Yeah. And then the girl the loses her ponytail and the convertible top. Yeah, we got it all. We, got, we know it. Yeah. All outside Arnold's. Yeah. All outside Arnold's. Oh. What happens okay. at Arnold's stays at yeah, Arnold's. How many children did they have? That's Three. correct. Three. Because there was a brother Chuck. Yes. Right. Who disappeared, yeah. Who just kind of disappeared and they didn't mention him anymore. Yeah. Okay, Poor both Chuck. of you, mm-hmm. name one show that was a spin off of Happy Days. Do you want to go first, Brown? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> okay. I am going to say Laverne and Shirley. I am going to say Johnny Loves Chachi. Wow, double points. And, and family guy. <laughs> and family guy. <laughs> I almost want to think there's another one, but I, I'm probably wrong. <clears throat> okay. Well, Laverne and Shirley, yeah. Mork and Mindy. Oh, out Mork of, and Mindy, right. Mm, yes. Out of the blue, which I got to look that one up. I don't remember that. What is that? Joni Chachi, Blansky's Beauties. Mm-hmm. I remember them promote, like promo, promoting, promoting that yes. show, but I don't remember it really. Yes, the Nancy Walker, I remember that. And they had cartoons, Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, and Laverne and Shirley in the Army. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that either. That was a whole series, I guess. I think they were in the Army. Yeah, they were, yeah. yeah. Chuck stuck in the green room. <laughs> yeah, poor Chuck. All right. Um, let's see. Which of these people did not guest star on Happy Days? They had a lot of um, people who didn't, weren't really famous yet, but some of them were. Anyways, which of these people did not guest star on Happy Days? Tom Hanks, Maureen McCormick, Frankie Avalon, Morgan Fairchild, Farrah Fawcett, or Dick Van Patten? Okay, can you say really quick all the names one more time? Oh, yeah. All of these people appeared but one. <clears throat> Tom Hanks, Maureen McCormick, Frankie Avalon, Morgan Fairchild, Farrah Fawcett, or Dick Van Patten. Okay. I think I, I, think I got it. But I'm, I could be wrong, but I think I got it. Tom Hanks. That's what I was going to go with, but I'm going to go with Seth MacFarlane. All right. He wasn't in it. Who? Who? Seth MacFarlane. He's on a family guy run here. (laughs) He's the guy who writes Family Guy. (laughs) Well, the one who did not appear is Farrah Fawcett. Oh. Oh. Tom Hanks appeared in one of the most famous ones when he was a bully. He was going to fight Fonzie, and he was doing like all karate chops all around the um, Arnold's. Oh, I, I don't think I ever saw that. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to catch up on my happy days. Sure, I've got to that, look more closely. Wow. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it was Farrah Fawcett. Aw, Farrah. All right, I got a couple more. Mm-hmm. What kind of store did Howard Cunningham have? A pizza place, a hardware store, or a drug store? Do you want me to go, bro? I, I, I'm going to go to a hardware store. I don't have any idea. <laughs> It's hardware. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Correct. <got> hardware store. <laughs> I think my Furby's dead. <laughs> Sorry. It'd be all right. He's sleeping. That, that's just wrong, Dave. All right. <laughs> I also have the exact quote uh, from Laura. She said, Davey is good, grouchy, but good. 
<laughs> and I said, I'll bring him. I'll have some crunch berries in tow when I come. That's there. what I was gonna say. He's probably not getting what you gave him. I mean, come on, tacos, crunch I, berries. Did you see my new friend today? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was potato chips today, right? I have a new squirrel friend. Those little when you get um, a Chinese restaurant, they give you those little like. Um, Thin noodles oh. to dip in the sauces and yes. stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. The I noodles gave him those. That... He, he liked them. Yeah. And I didn't name him yet, but he, we have three baby squirrels. One has a red tail, and he's the one that likes me most. So um, I'm going to um, try for him to have him. Uh... What, what, are you going to name this one? You yeah. Name I don't, you know, I don't want to get too tight with him in case something happens. I'm going to, you know, Keep make sure tight. he's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, make sure he's healthy. Yeah. I got one more big one. This was a okay. big whopper back in the day. How did Arnold's catch on fire? All right. I got Al burned it to collect insurance. Joni and Jenny Piccolo were smoking. Chachi left his apro- apron on the grill. Or Richie was fooling around with fireworks. Mm. How did Arnold's catch on fire? Arnold's driving. <laughs> okay. Brock, you want me to go? Uh, I, I think it's either going to be smoking or the fireworks. Okay, I am going to say. That means I'm wrong. I wish it was smoking because I think that would be like an epic happy days. But I think, you know, lesson learned kind of thing. I think it was Chachi left his apron on the grill. Mm. Correct. Chachi left his apron on the grill when they were closing up for the night. Yeah. See, I didn't. I didn't even have to wait for you to tell me the answer. I know I was wrong because she, Jennifer was just like, "Well, I'm going to go with." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm going to bypass your answer. <laughs> I kind of like. I kind of like when I know some some answers on here. You know, I I suck at celebrity birthdays. Hey, Jennifer, hey. did I rub? <laughs> yeah. You what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Jimmy, come back. Hello! Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, yeah, give me, okay. give me a, give me, give me trivia on Happy Days, Gilligan's Island, you know, all that stuff. But celebrity birthdays, I have no idea. Remember, okay, go Sarah, ahead. Jim. I did. We didn't yeah. know your first visit to the show. I grilled you with trivia questions. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. You did. No, I loved it. Okay. <laughs> right, and then this is good, totally. Uh, Changing topics here. I'm scrolling, trying to find something, fellas. What do you mean you're trying to find something? Scrolling for my stories. Oh. I'm trying to do surgery on the Furby. Is Furby just dying there? He's just not. Apparently you have to take him apart once they expire. Oh, and get him rejuvenated or something. Yeah, pretty much you have to, you know, replace some things. I don't know. Yeah. It's weird. You know. When my kids were little, we lived in Idaho for a little while. I lived Mm -hmm. there for about six years. And the guy who invented Furby lived there. (gasps) Yeah. And he came and talked to the kids at their little school. And it was like, and he brought one. And, of course, that was when you couldn't even find them. You know, it was Uh, like the hottest thing for Christmas. and But he brought one. And, you know, we were all screwed because none of us could find one, so yeah. You know what? During that big Furby craze, yeah, um, what, one of the guys at work bought a whole pallet. Like as soon as they came into work, he bought uh-huh. a whole pallet of them because I think they were like you know twenty bucks at the time, but they were going for a hundred to two hundred because nobody could find them, and he got yes. fired. I think he got fired. <gasps> really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to research that more. I just remember that now. <laughs> I have a story. Do you guys hear about this story? It was that interested me? Did, mm-hmm. There was a, um, alien hunters accused NASA of cutting the International Space Station um, ISS live feed when a UFO appeared on the screen. But did the <gasps> agency do it on purpose, or was oh, it the image of? Uh, you hear I about this? I saw that. I heard about it, but I, I, I didn't have a chance to look into it really further. But I heard that they, they that that's what they're accusing them of that they. They cut the, the feed. Yeah. There's that people that watch creepy. this all day long. 
yeah. there apparently was uh, like a UFO like image that kind of started creeping into their their feed, and they immediately cut it off. Which yeah. was like, is it coincidence that all of a sudden it just went off, or did they try to hide it from us? Wow. Yeah, that's so much, pretty weird. You can't hide stuff too well anymore, you know? No. Is there no. Why? Everybody's watching everything. Everyone has something to say about something. Like, you, you know, know? We tried to have a secret show, and look at this. <gasps> this is the secrets out. Yeah. <laughs> was that Rosie? That sounded no, like that Rosie. Was, uh... That's their little car. Oh, doesn't remember Rosie from um, um, oh gosh, come on, guys, Jetsons. She always yeah. sounded like that to me. Similar. We can't do it anymore. I know. So uh, let's see. So, so I looked away from the chat room, mm-hmm. and uh-huh. people are talking about Furby sex. So I'm kind of <laughs> kind of scared. <laughs> do you guys remember that? That Sims, that Sims thing where you you create you had your own people and you made their yeah. houses and their neighborhoods. I they they hated me on there because I always tried to be like so sexually inappropriate with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen, you know. If and you then put them I, together. Oh, I would try like if anybody came to uh, to visit, I'd try to like you know attack them and make out with them, and <laughs> and it finally went. And they'd be angry and they'd leave and. You know, I just wanted to see what would happen. I was like, because I'm so not like that in life. So I, it was like my alter ego. Are they real people? Real. Or are no, they they're, like. They're like fake people, you know, that you can make them do things and they can go use the bathroom. Don't you remember? Did you ever do this? The Sims? Did you, did yes. you ever try to kill one? No. Yes, I did. You did? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I, <laughs> What, what happens? that happens in The Sims stays in The Sims. <laughs> so, wait, this reminded me of something. Like, was it Professor Plum in the living room with the candlestick? Yeah. Because yeah. when I was shopping at Toys R Us, I asked them, do you have that game with Professor Plum and Colonel Mustard? And they said they had no clue. So I don't know. <laughs> it's like my uh, joke from two weeks I ago. I like that. I like jokes like that. See, that's that's funny because no clue. See, okay. Yeah, anyway, no clue. So, okay, there's sassy pictures of uh, Furby's, Furby's chat right now. So, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, wow. I have to see this. No, that's you don't want to see it. Oh, I got one more thing. Yes. I went to see Mercy Brown this week. Yes, I saw it. My video. Yes. Was he Mercy Brown, the vampire girl of Rhode Island? I didn't do like investigating. I just wanted to, um, you know, take a video of it for everybody. But we, we did that one. I think we, I don't know if it was a vampires episode or um, creepy graveyards, but that's an art. Uh, yeah, I can't remember which one it was on. And also, ooh, ooh, ooh. I have um, on August 26th, we have Tony Spira and Frank Chafari from the New England Society for Psychic Research who will be at the evening with Annabelle, buffet dinner, take a picture with the real Annabelle, lecture, and hear the voices from the Enfield haunting that um, was from The uh, Conjuring Part 2. And visit warrens.net for ticket information. Is anybody going? Anybody in the chat? Maybe I'll see you there. They said we'll have a free pack of Twizzlers for anybody that drops my name at the door. Oh, yeah. A whole pack Love of me some Twizzlers. Is it the first person to do it or every person? Well, I'm going to gonna bring enough. I'm going to bring enough. So when that door breaks open, I'll be throwing Twizzlers to and fro to all my friends. Aw. Oh, yeah. I love it. Now, now, when you go visit Davey, are you definitely going to bring him some Jimmy Snacks? I am bringing him Crunch Berries. <laughs> and For I, sure. You know, I said that, you know, that lion video on, uh, 
on, on uh, it's all over the internet. That lion video that the man raised him since he was a cub, and he didn't see him for like ten years. And he went out. Yes. And, him, and they play some terrible song during it, so it makes you cry. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, I feel like that. Like Davey, <laughs> come in slow motion. You do. You do. You gotta be. We have to have you slow motion, just handing him the crunch berry. It's all, and you're, the look on your face, and then him, you know, growling at you and snarling and snatching it from you. Yeah, it's got to be very dramatic with some really cool music in the background. you got to. What song? Awesome. What, do you have any suggestions of songs? I'll have it ready. All right. Okay. Hey, chat room. Let's think of a really good Davey and Jimmy theme song. For yeah. sure. Theme song for us. It could Reunited. be uh, Fighting United. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Reunited Sweet. That's a sweet one. I say I picture him running in slow motion towards me with his arms spread open, you know, ready to hug me and then slashing at my face. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll get that magic eight ball implant that I've been looking for. Yeah. Yeah. If you missed oh. that last week, I think it was, I want to do, if I lost an eye, I want a yeah. magic eight ball implanted in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then we would just shake you, like ask you a question and just shake you and right. then roll your head around and we'd have our answer. Try again later. Yeah. <laughs> our secret show is over in 20 seconds yeah. oh what? my gosh i don't no. even remember the stuff we talked about no because it, it was secret <laughs> it was we secret. don't even remember we don't even know all right that was fun i hope you enjoyed it guys yeah um, just for being stupid and fun right? that was fun and yeah. join us next week for in living color is our working mm-hmm. title brock yeah. jennifer dr david listeners good night Good night, folks. Good night.